Hi, my name's Mark Hayward. I'm a professional comedy yo-yo man, top spinner, juggler, keynote speaker, and I like to make stuff. I'm making a travel size Skittles board. What is Skittles? No, Skittles is the exciting spin top bowling game. And you can tell that because it says it right there on the box. You pull a string, spin a top, it zips around, bounces off the walls, and knocks over the bowling pins. It's super fun. The game I'm making is the modern twist from the 1950s of a traditional lawn bowling game from Europe. Skittles Lawn Bowling is the origin of all the bowling games that we have around the world today. I'm going to make a travel size Skittles board because this one is not really convenient to carry around. I got a call from one of my top spinning friends and I'm guessing you're probably not familiar with the national top spinning community. There's some of my favorite people in the whole world, but the reality is that there's only like, I don't know, maybe 30 of us. It's a very small group of people and uh, we get together at juggling conventions and yo-yo contests and, and things like that. Uh, there's even one top convention, which is super rare. Uh, for this country. There's, internationally, there's top spinners everywhere, but here there's almost nobody. So I got a call from one of my top spinning friends, and he knew from hanging out with me at conventions that I didn't own a Skittles board, and he knew that I wanted one. So I got a call from him saying, hey, Mark, how badly do you want a Skittles board? I said, pretty bad. You, you got an angle? And he said, yeah. I always like to mark the waist side of the cut so that I know for sure which side the saw blade goes on. It's amazing how often you can do that incorrectly. I'm setting the blade height here so I can do a dado cut and I've got the saw unplugged and I like to put the plug out right where I can see it. It's very important to have the saw unplugged anytime you're getting your fingers anywhere near the blade, just in case. My buddy, he was out kayaking and he came upon an abandoned house that was falling down. He said that it was three quarters of the house had fallen down and that one little corner was still intact, still had an intact roof. And he went into that one little corner and was looking around to see what was there. There are a few pictures on the walls, a few other sort of random things. And uh, one of the things he looked, he saw this shelf that had a few uh, items on it. And as he looked closer at the shelf, he realized it was a Skittles board. Whenever you find one, you never find the parts. It's always just the board. You never have the top, you never have the little bowling pins, there's nothing. And he's looking at it, and he realizes it's an, it's an absolutely pristine condition. And he starts looking around a little bit, thinking maybe he could find the top, maybe he'll find like one bowling pin. And sitting right on the Skittles board itself, there's a coffee can filled with all the pins and the spin top. So he, he thought of me immediately, but, you know, he's in a kayak, what's he going to do? I want to make sure that my play field looks really good and works well for my Skittles board, so I have to do a test here to see whether matte finish on the clear acrylic spray is going to be better than glossy finish, because I don't actually know how my spin top is going to react. And if one of them is clearly better than the other, than the other I want to use that. And I also have gotten out my paint pens. I want to make sure they all still worked. They do. And 
I want to make sure that there's no interaction between the paint pens and the spray. I want to make sure that everything looks as it's supposed to, to look and it works before I'm working on the final product. No difference. I think it's going. I think it's going exactly the same. Woo, it is hard to keep this thing on here. <laughs> I just finished drilling a couple holes that I've been dreading ever since I started this project and they went great and <laughs> it's such a relief. I needed to drill some pocket holes in the underside of the two gates that surround the high scoring area on the Skittles board and when I started I just wasn't quite sure how I was going to make that connection work and I'm just so glad that I figured it out and nothing went wrong. He didn't have his cell phone with him, so he went home to call me, and when I said I wanted it, that meant it was time for another adventure. Because as far as he knew, this house was only accessible by the river. It turned out he couldn't go back and retrieve it right away. It was, it was a few days before he had enough time to do it. So the whole time we're both nervous. Will it still be there? Will the house fall down before he's able to get back?
So my buddy got back in his kayak. He knew for sure it wouldn't last another winter, but he thought the house was just about to fall over. So he goes back into this creaking, dangerous pit and, and pulled the Skittles board out, got the pins and the spin top for me, strapped them onto his kayak, and then kayaked all the way down the river to get it back to his house. But even that wasn't enough because at that time I lived in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and he lived in Connecticut. So we still had some coordination. I was trying to figure out if I, is the Skittles board small enough? Could I put it in carry-on luggage if I had a gig out there? Uh, eventually it worked out where uh, I had a driving gig. I had to be out in that area for a few shows. And so I, I drove around to do my yo-yo and juggling shows and I stopped at his house, picked up the board, brought it back to my house. It's amazing. I know some of you may be wondering if this is a story of stealing a Skittles board. But I don't think it is. What we did is we saved it. The house was falling down. It was so close to complete destruction. And if we hadn't rescued the board from there, then it would just be rotting on the forest floor right now. I think that it's really important to preserve parts of our culture. And in this case, I believe that what we did was the right thing. Here we go, the maiden voyage of travel skittles. First time I'll be spinning it with a string. It's also possible it doesn't actually fit through the doors. I haven't checked that. All right, let's see. Well, there's your problem. <laughs> uh, to make a little adjustment, apparently. What? That's boring. All right, now I'm gonna do a test with one of the tops from my original Skittles game, so commercially manufactured top. <laughs> Holy cow, that is so much more exciting. Wow. Alright, I think I have the answer. I think I made this top too well. It's really uh, well balanced. This wood is a really consistent density. And this one is much lighter and it's, I mean, I did it intentionally with cross grain to try to get a difference in density, but this wood that I use, this is honey locust, is uh, really, really heavy and dense and probably extremely uniform. And you can see this has wider grain. It's much lighter, it's probably pine. And it must just be a, less balanced spinning machine. So maybe I have to put a weight on this. If you really want tape to stick well, you have to pressurize it. Something I learned from my buddy Crash. You have to take something that's harder than your fingers and really force all the adhesive down into the surface. Mom is here to help out. <laughs> Say hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. <laughs> all right, here we go. <laughs> I feel like I want more action off of it. I just reworked the tip so the high spot is less centered. Next experiment with the new off-center tip. I've got one small washer. That's awesome! That is so exciting. <laughs> All right, I'm putting a screw in. First test with the top, now that it's got the screw in it to set it off balance. Wow. 
Well, that seems to have balanced it perfectly. All right, I put a second screw in. Let's see if this works any better. If it doesn't, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, that works. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click the button so you get notifications each time I post a new video. You can download the plans for this project for free on my website, markhayward.net. You can also find me on social media. On Twitter and YouTube, I'm Mark Hayward. And on Instagram and Facebook, I'm THE Mark Hayward. Done! Okay, here we go.